Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to all my lovely regular viewers. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So this is the set of nails that I'm going to recreate in today's video. And it's more all about the nail art. So there's no acrylic application on this video. So you will see that there is a bit of a change because when I did initially um, record this, I moved my hand whenever I was doing the little stitch character and it was completely out of frame. So I do go in and then re-record me doing the stitch character, which is what you will see in the next few minutes. So as I said at the start of the video, this is a recreation and I saw this on Pinterest um, and the original um, creator of this was at hand c underscore academy on instagram so this is where the video changes so you can see the original one that i'm taking off um, that wasn't in in frame i'm just using my sanding band and i'm just going to take off the little stitch character and then i'll go back into redoing it for you So now that I've removed the little stitch character, I'm now going to go ahead and um, redo it for you. So the colours that I'm using are from Halo and it's two colours. I'm using their blue and I'm using their powder blue, which is the colour that I'm using now. I've mixed it with a little bit of um, white gel paint as well to make a lighter colour. So to start off doing stitch, um, it almost looks like you're doing a round blob and that's going to be his face. Then I'll go in and I'll mark out his ears. So it kind of looks like a bit of a blob to begin with. But once you go in and you start adding the details, you can start to see the little face and body come to life. So Stitch has quite long pointy ears. So this is what I'm doing now. I will go in at the end and I will add some pink just to define his ears. So I want to get all the blue, um, the powder blue colour done first. So now that I've done the ears, I'm going to move down to do the lower part of the body. First of all, this is just like a little, um, like little flicks of his hair that sits up. So now you can see I'm going in with uh, that lighter colour that I mixed up, the powder blue with the white. And this is going to be the area which is a, a little bit paler, which is just under his mouth. As you can see so far, I haven't cured any of it because I kind of want the colours to... Um, almost blend together and that just gives you a softer um, a softer look when you're going from one colour to the next. So this is what was happening on the first um, time that I recorded Stitch so I have caught on here and I have brought my hand um, forward a good bit so that we can see the whole nail. So this part I'm going to in with the, um, the powder blue to do the lower half of Stitch's body and then in with the lighter colour which is the powder blue mixed with the white gel paint and that's going to create his chest area. So yeah there you go I've caught on and I've brought it right into the centre of the screen. So I've went ahead and I've done the first cure of all the colours and now I'm going back in with more of that paler blue and I'm just going to highlight a little bit more of the area that is going to be under Stitch's mouth. In now with the colour blue and this is going to be the nose. So he has a fairly big nose for all the size of the face and um, it's basically just done as a as a circle so it well maybe like a sort of squoval circle if you know what I mean it's not a, a pure circle and I'm just going back in with some more of that um, paler color um, that was mixed together the powder blue and the white to do his um, eye sockets so the eyes are going to be done in three different um, sections so I'm going to do the lighter color then I'll do the black and then I'll go in and add some more detail
Now that I've got the eyes, um, sort of the basic shape of the eyes, I'm going to go in with some of the blue and I'm just going to do some um, shadows just to add a little bit of depth and colour to his face. So now I'm going to frame um, the whole of the character and I'm going to use just black gel paint from Beauty Lux. I absolutely love this. It's so pigmented and it's so easy to work with. So I'm using Glitter Bell's fine detailing brushes and I'm literally just putting the slightest amount of black onto the brush and just making sure that my brush is kept really, really thin with not a lot of product on it. If you want to do thin lines, you really need to make sure that the, your brush is not clogged with product because that is going to give you a wider stripe if you want to keep it nice and thin like this just keep doing what I'm doing you can see on the right hand side I have it almost like um, a line of the black and I just run my brush down that line each time I need to put more black onto it and that keeps my brush nice and thin and that gives me nice thin lines as well so just to frame his nose and of course if I make any mistakes I keep them in so I didn't like the way um, I had outlined his nose so I'm just going in with some acetone and just removing it and then I'll go back in again with some more of the black gel paint and um, frame his nose again. So just to do his little nostrils I'm just using the tip of my brush with the black um, gel paint and just creating two circles just at each side of his little nose. So while I have the black on the brush, I'm just going to continue to outline the rest of Stitch and then I'm going to change over to my dotting tool to do the eyes. Um, I just find it easier to do the eyes with the dotting tool. It's going to give me the shape that I need and I don't have to worry about rounding the edges or anything because the dotting tool will do that for me. So it's almost as if I'm moving the dotting tool up and down um, rather than round and round and that's giving me the shape needed for Stitch's eyes. And I'll come back and finish Stitch's eyes whenever um, I'm finished with the black. So Stitch has quite a, a long wide mouth. So I'm going in just with that black gel paint just to create um, his mouth. There is a little upturn right at the corners. Um, of course I didn't like what I'd done there so I've wiped it off again and I'm redoing it. See, this is the beauty of doing it with gel paint, especially if you've cured the layers in between. If you make a mistake, you can just wipe it off and start again, and it's not going to affect anything that you've done previous. So now that I'm happy with his mouth, I'm going to go ahead and just outline some more. Um, I'm going to do his little eyebrows, which his eyebrows are quite thick compared to any of the other lines. And then he has little frown lines that go in between the, the eyes. So at this point here, I'm just making his eye um, area just a little bit bigger, just to be proportional to the rest of his face. And then I'll go in with um, my white gel paint and create some highlights in his eyes as well. So 
So in the picture on Pinterest, um, Stitch has his arms more or less up out in front of him, up towards the mouth. So I'm just doing the outline of those and now I'm going to fill it in with that deeper blue. Now in with the white gel paint just to do the highlights on the eyes and I'm just going to use my detailing brush for this. So it seems to be one large dot up at the top and then two smaller dots underneath. So back to the hands and the arms. So it's, it's almost as if the fists are clenched with this. So you can see I'm doing the whole outline of the, the fist and then I'll go in and do the, the lines and that will indicate his fingers as well. And while I have the black on my brush, I'm just going back to his little mouth and just making it a little bit wider just to represent um, a smile. So the last thing really to do with Stitch now is just to add a little bit of pink to his ears. So I'm just doing that on the, um, in the middle of the ears so it looks like the pink is inside the ears. And then I'll cure that and I'll just outline it very, very lightly with the black gel paint as well. And then that is Stitch done. So I am going to do them in um, a matte finish. I think um, hand painted art, for me personally, I prefer it you know in matte although I, I prefer matte a lot for most of my sets um, I'm not a big fan of the glossy nails and this is the finished little stitch character so oh, I was so annoyed whenever I realized that the the first one I did wasn't in frame um, but yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do all the nail art on the rest of the fingers. So on the little finger, I'm starting out with drawing two hearts. So I'm going to do them in uh, black gel, just the outline of them in black gel paint. The second little heart is not going to be a full heart. You're just going to see half of it. And then I'll fill in the rest of the nail with the blue gel polish.
So moving on to the thumb now, and the thumb um, wasn't shown in the picture, so I'm just gonna do like my own design on the thumb. So I'm going in with the deeper blue from Halo, and I'm just covering the whole thumbnail with that. And then I'll go in with um, a nail art sponge and some white gel paint, just to create almost like an airbrushed blot on the nail. And then I'll go in with my white gel paint again and just draw some little hearts on top of those um, blots. So before I go ahead and do all the, the white artwork on the thumb, I'm going to go in and place my rhinestones on my pointer finger and my ring finger. On the ring finger, it's not going to have any nail art on it. I'm just going to um, place the rhinestones just in a diagonal shape, um, just on half of the nail. Now that I've got all the rhinestones cured in place, I'm going back in with my um, Glitter Bells detailing brush and the black gel paint, and I'm just going to add some line work. And then in certain places of it, I'm going to fill it in in the different blues that I've used um, on the rest of the nails. So I am just going to let you watch me um, do this little line work, and then I'll come back um, whenever I'm moving on to the thumbnail.
Okay, so back to the thumbnail. I've taken one of my little nail art sponges and I've popped some of the white gel paint on it and I'm almost blotting it onto the nail. Um, but I don't want it to be really, really bright. So I'm just going in with a clean bit of the, the little nail art sponge and I'm just more or less taking a lot of that colour back out because I just want it to look like, like an airbrushed background. So I've cured that before I'm moving on to the next step. So the next step is just to draw little white hearts just in all those little blots that I've done on um, the thumbnail. Back to the pointer finger now and just to fill in just certain areas in that line work with the different colours of the blue. So now that I've got all the nail artwork done, I'm going to go ahead and apply my top coat. So I am going to use a matte top coat. As I said earlier, I definitely prefer a matte finish, especially if there's any nail art on the nails. I just think that it kind of um, makes it look a little bit better. Sometimes the gloss, um, you know, some of the picture can be, it can sort of be hid by um, the light shining on them. So definitely for any, any nail art, I prefer a matte finish. So here is the finished set. I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. If you have, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. As I said, it was a recreation. So I will pop the original creator's name in the description box and you can follow her on Instagram. And I will be back with another video. So take care, see you soon, bye.